I'm going to reveal something that uh, that I, I don't know that I've ever revealed publicly about the death of Ben Kenobi. Exclusive? Uh, he's not dead. Yeah, he's Whoa. not dead at this point in the story. Darth Vader was correct to do a little stamp around, but you'll notice he wasn't very thorough. He did two little stompies on two little parts. Yeah. Ben Kenobi did a sell the kids on himself. Yeah. He shrunk himself down super tiny. Oh. That's why he gives that little grin because he's like, <laughs> nobody expects a guy to go small. Right. And then he's like, and then he's like, scur right now he's scurrying around the Death Star. Make and it. he's got a plan for how he's going to take it down. But then they blow up the Death Star and that, that kills Ben Kenobi. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's no way! <laughs> But Luke also, Skywalker kills Ben Kenobi. Yeah. Well, this is the problem. He had a plan, and his yeah, he blows up the Death have, Star. He would have blown up the Death Star faster and gotten away with it, but he kept on getting distracted <laughs> by all the bugs he could fuck. Suddenly, it's so small. There are yeah. all these. There are all these yeah. that he can. Do. He's and naked. He's, so he's sexual. He's, he's like, what would this one be like? And right. then he has to whine and bang him because he is a man of yeah. consent. I saw a deleted scene actually on one of the re-releases yes. where you got Sir Alec Guinness saying out loud, "Oh no, I left the growing potion back on the Millennium Falcon." Yeah. yeah. So when he takes when they take off, right. he doesn't have the growing and, potion anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and there I, also, uh, there's footage of Alec Guinness saying, "Damn, I want to fuck that caterpillar." Right. And, okay. and then, I, if He's I remember, like, George, George, you're in that yeah. scene, uh, you're in that clip, and you say, oh, okay, I'll write that in. Yes. Yeah. If I remember, because that was just Alex Guinness saying, like, yeah. I want to fuck that caterpillar. He's, and you're like, oh, okay, that's a good okay. character trait. I have, a, yeah. I have a question. If, if when the Death Star blew up, if there had been a literal half second cut to a tiny naked Ben Kenobi, like, oh fuck, would there have been a next yeah. Star Wars, or would this be the only one to exist? Would yeah. they have gone on for that? Point? No, no, of course. I I went back and forth on whether or not I should film that, and I did have get it in the have plans for a standalone a standalone. I did have plans for a standalone movie called Tiny Fun Kenobi, <laughs> and uh, and it would just be it would take place during the during the the brief period that he was running wild as a tiny little critter on the Death Star. Yeah, right up till the moment where it gets blown up. Yeah, and I want to be clear when when Luke when Luke hears uh, Ben's voice when he's uh, uh, about to blow up the Death Star, that's just him remembering what he sounds like. It's just a memory. Uh -huh. <laughs> and and let's say also that film would be very different than the Star Wars sequels as we know them. Tonally, it would be a little more like a Bug's Life meets Porky's. Yeah. It would be sort of just a wild rival right. comedy. Now, I, I actually, I read uh, in, I, I, it's one of the Star Wars magazines, uh, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. that you originally, you had Rick Moranis for mm -hmm. that tiny fun Kenobi, but then when the, the picture fell through, he went on to do Spaceballs. Because he had already done all the prep oh, work. That must yeah. have stung, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And no, it was hard. It was hard, hard but yeah. I released. I. We were we were a decade behind where we needed to be in terms of the VFX, and mm -hmm. I I said to Rick, I said, Rick, I'm not going to make you wait another ten years to do this when you have the opportunity to goof on uh, some Star Wars right now. George has always so been I released him. I said, "You go, go with my blessing." And and to, to answer my your question, yes, it stung. But what stung even more was when Obi Wan let that bee top yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, let I bet that by a bee. 